During a campaign rally this weekend, President Trump forecasted a bloodbath for the American auto industry if Biden were to serve another term. While nobody in attendance batted an eye, mainstream media deceptively interpreted Trump's remarks as him calling for a bloodbath if he were to lose the election. This is the latest, yet far from the first, Trump media hoax Americans have lived through. Throughout 2016, mainstream media enthusiastically furthered the Clinton campaign manufactured Russia collusion hoax that alleged Trump was working with Russia to help him win the election. In reality, the Clinton campaign funded the inaccurate and unverified Steele dossier so that the FBI could obtain surveillance warrants on Trump. This was followed by the Very Fine People hoax, where following a violent protest over a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, Trump stated they were very fine people on both sides of the argument. Mainstream media neglected to share Trump stating he was not referring to the neo-Nazis or white nationalists involved. Then during COVID, Trump sarcastically suggested using disinfectant to fight the virus, which led to the lie that Trump called for people to inject themselves with bleach. And there is the false classification that Trump is an insurrectionist, despite him calling for a peaceful and patriotic march to the Capitol and never being charged with or convicted of insurrection. But there is a real crisis among all of the hoaxes. The media has not simply made innocent mistakes in these instances, rather they have intentionally spread lies, as state-run media does, to further a political agenda. And we know this because the very things agreed upon by everybody, including themselves just a short time ago, are now deceitfully covered as racist, xenophobic, or hateful. Holding a strong belief in God, advocating for a strong border, and wanting government to stay out of Americans' personal lives were considered reasonable demands as recently as the Obama years. Now they are covered as extreme right-wing nationalism, racism, and conspiracy theorizing. In fact, the term bloodbath has often been used by the left to describe political developments without any backlash regarding the term. This can only be a coordinated effort, as such an extreme shift in ideology in such a short period of time cannot happen organically. Media hoaxes are not a new phenomenon, but while those who spread them regularly warn about threats to democracy, their intentional erosion of a fair and balanced media to further divide the nation is a legitimate threat to it.